So that's why I have these on. Oh, oh he's so cute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be bringing you a new little series that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be repotting these super adorable plants that I got at one of the local stores here in Orlando, actually two, um, but they're owned by the same company. One is called Porch Therapy and the other one is called The Heavy. I'm really glad I found them because I've been looking for a really good like nursery or store to get plants. Um, with more variety and their plants are just they look so happy and they're so well taken care of So I really appreciate that um, And I found a bunch of really cute plants that will survive Cross my fingers in my very dark house So I'm really excited and let's get into it So the first plant I got is this one Play player the player plant, <laughs> prayer plant. Um, what's really cool about this plant is that in the morning or during the day, it kind of opens up. And then at night, you'll see all the leaves kind of come up together. And I just think that's super cute. I just love that it has that movement. And if you go on to like Google and just search prayer plant, you'll see like a bunch of time lapses and you can see kind of how it moves throughout the day. So I think that's really fun and I love that. So this little guy, is gonna be getting repotted into this pot. Thought it was really, really cute. It's a little bit bigger than the one it's already in, so that gives it some room to grow. Um, and I think the height is good. So crossing my fingers that it likes this new home. So one of the things that you should know about this plant is that it likes well-draining soil. So that would be your typical potting mix. Um, so what I'm gonna do is first loosen up the plant and try and get him out of here. Take some of my potting soil and sprinkle it at the bottom of the pot. Perfect, smells like soil. And I'm gonna take this little guy out, hold him by the roots, kind of help him give up, get out of this old pot. Oh, I wanna try and loosen up some of the roots. This is gonna be messy. There we go. And then put him down into this pot and get him some of that rich soil. This has nutrients in it and fertilizer. I want him to have lots of food. And so I'm just gonna fill that around. And just kind of pack it in. Oh, he looks so cute already. I think he looks so good in this pot. Oh, he's so cute. I think that's looking great. A few other things that you'd want to know about the prayer plant are that it's non-toxic. So if you have pets um, and you're worried about them chewing on something, this plant is non-toxic, so safe for your house. Also, this plant likes to be in indirect sunlight, so that'll be like on the side of the window or maybe like a few feet away from the window. Um, the reason for that is because these leaves can actually get bleached and damaged if they're in that direct sunlight. So definitely make sure to keep these babies in a good area and rotate them so all the leaves get some love. So that's it for this little guy. I think he looks really great in here. And also another cool thing is that the bottom of these leaves are like a dark purple. It's really, really pretty. And um, yeah, I just love this guy. So that's it for him. This next plant that I have is the spike moss plant and um, I don't really know what drew me to it but I just saw it and I was like I think that is adorable and I need to have it. I think I said that about every plant that I saw in there um, but this one was really cheap and just super cute. I found this amazing pot at the heavy and it was like one of the first things I saw when I walked in and I picked it up, put it down, walked around the store and came back and I still couldn't stop looking at it. So of course I got it. And originally I was gonna be putting a different plant into this, something that was a little more stocky. 
um, and kind of stood up in here. But I realized that that plant I bought actually can grow to be pretty big. So I was like, okay, that's definitely not gonna work too soon. He would need to be um, in a new home. So I figured that just wasn't the smartest idea. These are super easy to care for. Um, they can handle really cold conditions. So what I'm gonna do with this plant is split it in half. Um, I just don't think the whole thing will fit in there. So I'm gonna put half in here and then I have another little baby pot and put the other half in there. So I'm gonna loosen them up just like I did before with the other plant. And some more facts about taking care of this plant. This plant likes to be moist and kept in full or partial shade. Doing that helps him to stay green and I want him to stay green. So I'm just loosening this up a little bit. He's got really tiny roots. They're so cute and little. I feel kind of bad splitting them up. I'm just gonna kind of rip down the middle and kind of pull it apart here. There we go. All right, so <laughs> that looks like a really sad scene. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some potting mix. This pot didn't come with drainage holes, so I went ahead and drilled them myself. If too much water is in your pot and it's not getting um, evaporated or absorbed by the soil, it can actually rot the roots of your plant and kill it. So um, that's actually really common. So I'm just gonna put some potting mix into there. Kind of fill her up. And put this little guy in here. Oh, I think he'll be happy in here. Definitely need some more soil to go around. Kind of hard, the shape, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and pack in what I already put. Kind of shake him off a little too. Wow, this is needing a lot more soil than I thought it would. Okay, well, I love this. I love this, I think this looks absolutely adorable. Um, hopefully he likes his new home. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in this other pot. It's a little bit big, I think, but I'm just gonna try and put some more soil at the bottom so that he can stay at a good level. The last plant I have here is the snake plant. This is known as like one of the easiest houseplants to take care of because they just don't need that much from you. So if you feel like you've been killing your houseplants, try getting a snake plant and see how that goes for you. For this guy, I've got this big old pot. Um, it is quite a lot bigger, but again, I'll just fill the bottom in. I think he'll grow into it very nicely. The snake plant actually requires succulent soil. Um, and it's also called free draining soil. And what's important about this soil is that it's airy. Um, it lets the water run through quickly. It has more sand and more grit to it. Um, it allows water to drain from it better because um, succulents and similar plants to succulents, um, they retain a lot of moisture up in their actual leaves above the soil and below it can actually rot if they're too moist. So that's why they require a different kind of soil and that's kind of how it helps them to stay looking nice and happy, which is what we want. So this guy, I am going to... There's a spider in here. No, die. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this little guy, this little guy, this big guy, and put him into this new pot. Um, I have... I have my cactus succulent soil right here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this pot over, put some and bring it back. So I'm just gonna take him, turn him sideways, try and get him out of here. Oh, so it was definitely time for this guy to move on. You can see all his roots there. All right, I'm back with some gloves and I'm gonna tell you why. I saw some spiders in here and I think they're spider mites. I think that's what they're called. And basically, 
they eat your plant. They're like little parasites. Um, so I don't like bugs. <laughs> and I need to kind of loosen up the roots for this plant. So that's why I have these on. Um, kind of loosen it up over here. Just loosening up the roots. So I'm gonna go ahead and place right there. Uh, I didn't think this out. And with this potting mix, I can already see the difference between this and the potting soil. You can actually see the little bits of sand. Um, it has a lot more texture to it. All right. That looks good to me. Yay! So all my plants have new homes. I'm very happy for them. All right, so these are my plants. Got the prayer plant here, the snake plant, and my spike moss. I think I'm most excited about this one and I think he just fits so good in this little cute pot. I love it. So here's a recap for the snake plant. They like room temperatures. They like to be in indirect sunlight. They like free draining or succulent soil. And for watering, the soil should be dry between waterings. The prayer plant is non-toxic, likes indirect light, likes to keep its soil moist and its leaves full together at night. The spike moss likes to be in full to partial shade, requires well-drained, rich soil. They have ease of division and propagation and they like to be kept moist at all times. They can also handle very cold temperatures up to negative one degree Celsius. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed planting with me. Um, I'm super excited to put these plants around my house and get more. If you like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos about plants, DIYs, and photography. Um, also follow me on Instagram at Sophia Germain. I'd love to chat with you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.